G'day Sagittarius, welcome to TJ Tarot Down Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as it now. We'll see what's going on, hey? So it is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements or check out my playlist and see if something there resonates more with your current timeline. Cross watches, this could be you, but it could be someone else's energy, so keep that in mind. Thank you all for your likes, shares, subscribes and views. Every single one of you is greatly appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And of course the decks I'm using today will be listed in the description box below in the order that I'm using them. Alright, Saggy, let's go. Message for Sagittarius is... Very soon, clearly decide that what you want so it comes to you now. So you better decide what you want because they want to bring it in. Worth waiting for. Look, divine timing is at work in your love life. It's just waiting for you to make your decision here, Saggy. So free yourself. Take back control of your life. And make that effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you've got it to take. So make the effort with yourself. <laughs> Spruce yourself up a little bit. But also make the effort to free yourself from anything that's holding you back. Because they are waiting for you to make a decision. Oh, Saji. <laughs> Very good. I like it. Wow. Yeah, stop hiding behind a false mask. <laughs> Don't deceive yourself out of this. All right. Tell us about the love energy coming towards Sagittarius. Three cards, please. Okay, there's one. Ooh, two. One more, please. Nope. Go again. There we go. Okay, so they have... This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So they see you as the one, Sedgy. They think you could be. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. So they're going to let this go with the flow. Okay. But we'll find out about that. And trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So they could have some trust issues. We'll work, see what the clarifiers say about that. Hmm. Okay, they've got forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So they've done some forgiving and learning. They've released the past. They've done the healing. Ooh. Could have been some childhood issues. Children, your love life's being affected by children. As you know, this card for me is about puppy love and innocence of love but it's also childhood issues or someone acting childish so they've released that energy and healed from a past life relationship they could have been acting had childhood issues or childhood acting childish in the past because that you've known each other before here and they want this new love with you a new love has a new person has stirred your romantic feelings i think they want this new love with you they feel like they've known you before. It could be a new person, though. And they just feel like they've known you before from a past life. They've dealt with their childhood issues here and done that healing, so that's good. All right. Let's find out what the go is. With some clarifiers. Message for Saggy is Sagittarius. Six of Swords, move to calmer waters, leave things behind that don't need to be brought with you. The star, you might have, want to heal something with this person and move to calmer waters with them. The Eight of Cups, walking away from what doesn't fulfill you. Queen of Swords, air energy, cutting out, well, cutting out people who don't come correctly. 
Gunning your heart. Being very cold towards people that don't deserve that deserve coldness. Because <laughs> the Queen of Swords is loving, but you gotta yeah, you gotta show there's transformation here, so you're transforming out of this. You're very cold and cut somebody out, I think. Walked away from something. And now you want to heal this and move to calmer waters with them. Well, well, you want to move on from it anyway. Heal and move on. And there's that something you've got to free yourself from. So that would be it, wouldn't it? So move it to calmer waters style. Alright. Yeah, leave leave out in the cold what no longer serves you. Leave something out leave it out in the cold. If they left you out in the cold, leave them out in the cold. Alright, tell me about this could be the one for this love energy coming towards Sagittarius, please. of pentacles balance give and take something might not have been balanced before they want to balance things out now there's only one person there the only thing one they're giving to here are the birds <laughs> um, yeah they think you could be the one and they want balance give and take with you the hangman Again, that song. <laughs> Every time I've been seeing this lately, I've been getting that. I think it's Lionel Richie or someone like that. Stuck on you. That stuck on you. <laughs> um, they could be stuck on you, but um, I think I'm just getting it because this is. I've, yeah, it's out of habit now. Um, this could be the one. Yeah, they want to balance things out, and I think they're seeing things from your perspective now understanding trying to see things from both sides here wanting this to be balanced seeing thinking that you could be the one they're hanging around <laughs> the moon card page of pentacles earth energy four of wands and the king of pentacles earth energy wow I think secretly they want to offer you something stable here. Or they're afraid to. <laughs> but I think it's a, they're keeping it a secret that they want to offer you stability here. Talk of, talk to you about something or give you a gift. Because they want stability with you. Long-term commitment. King of Pentacles. Committed, grounded, stable, married, living in that Ten of Pentacles house. And that's passionate stability with the Four of Wands. They want committed stability here. But they might just come through as a page. With just an offer of balancing things out. With a, a little gift here, peace offering. But secretly they want long-term stability with you. Mm. They think you could be the one, Saggy. You don't mind me calling you Saggy. <laughs> Sagittarius. Yeah, they're holding back their love at the moment. King of Cups, water energy. Got a lot of love for you. Tell me about let go of control issues for this love energy coming towards Sagittarius, please. Wow, King of Pentacles came out again. So they're going to let this unfold naturally as much as they do want this stability and commitment with you. They're very logical about it too. Very mature and logical about this stability that they want here. Could be a boss. Some are very money orientated. But I think with this stability, they're just going to let this go with the flow. Um, let this unfold naturally, but always going to be stable for you. 
as much as they want this stability, they're just going to let it, yeah, they're not going to rush into it. The devil, they're tempted to, though. <laughs> they're tempted to try and control this and lock it down straight away. They are tempted. And they're tempted to control it, but they won't. Because two of cups, they want this exchange of love. The two of you with the ace of cups full, overflowing and sharing that overflow. Seven of cups, six of cups, and the sun. Hmm. They have this love for you, they do, but there's confusion here. They don't know where it's going to go. They want to make these memories of love with you and have this happiness. I'm not really getting it's a past person. It could be a past person. The memories of love. There was happiness in the past, but then there was confusion. Or was it an illusion? Uh, I'm just getting more there. Yeah, there's confusion here. I don't know what that, you know, you might have other options here. That's why they're tempted to lock you down. Um, yeah, they've got memories of love. That's uh, happiness. Yeah, they want this to be successful. Six of Wands. They want your attention and they want it. Yeah, they want this to work out. All right, now as you know, it's as early. <laughs> oh, anything could happen. <laughs> The title will be correct once we get through the reading. It will, you'll find it's correct. Seven of Swords. Yeah. They're not going to try and control this, even though they're tempted to, because they don't want this to be to cheat themselves out of your beautiful love, Saji. Seven of Swords. Or, they're up, or they've got a plan. They've got a plan. Because cheating, lying, stealing requires a plan. Otherwise you get caught. Yeah, and there it is. Knight of Swords air energy coming in with truth and clarity and the Ace of Cups, that beautiful cup of love. They want to give you, they want to charge in with this love. That's their plan, to come flying in on a horse with wings and give you their cup with wings. <laughs> Share that cup with you. Oh yes, and a passion at new beginning with Ace of Wands as well. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, love and passion. Wow, with this stability. They're very stable. But they are tempted to control this. <laughs> but they know they'll wreck it if they do. Yeah. They're dying to take this passionate action. Knight of Wands, fire energy. Alright, tell me about trust for this love energy coming towards Sagittarius, please. Seven of Pentacles. Reviewing what they've invested in in the past. Wanting to invest in you. They're trying to have faith that this will be something that that grows. Because this is planting the seeds and seeing then seeing what comes from the harvest. What does it grow into? Trying to trust that this will grow into something prosperous between you two. They've got to wait and see. Ooh, five of swords. <sighs> because they've been stabbed in the back before with deception. Mind games, head games, manipulation here. That's why they're, try they're trying to have faith and trust and wait and see if this grows. But they're, they're worried about sabotage here. They don't want to sabotage it either. But they are worried about sabotage. And I know we've got the Five of Swords, the Devil, and we saw the Seven of Swords before, so... Hmm. Well, hmm. I'm the Hangman. Let's have a look. Oh, Eight of Swords. Stuck up in their head about this. Eight of Wands. There's two Eights. 
wanting to communicate. Ace of Wands, a passionate new beginning, and the Five of Cups, worrying about disappointment. Crying over spilt milk. Mm. Okay. So I'm getting with this that they're really stressed about passionate communication. What are they going to say? They don't know what they're going to say. And they're also worried about... The passion between you two, uh, is it going to, you know, when you do the passionate act, are they going to disappoint you? Hmm. I don't know, there's something's... See, I could read this a whole nother way as well. Like, they could think that you are the one that will always balance, that they can always balance things out with and leave hanging. Even when they leave you hanging. They've got control issues here because they like to stay in control of everything. Maybe they've got no more money and they think that's a way of controlling people. They know you trust them and you'll invest in them even though they play mind games with you. Oh, Saggy. And that could be why they're tr constantly thinking about ways to talk to you to get this passionate communication going back and forth because they want to use their wand and then they'll take off because it's all about wand energy disappointing you by leaving you crying over spilt milk for giving and learning have they released that past of being childish and constantly always chasing new love <clears throat> I don't know we're going to adjustments are required here. Win-win outcome is forecast, but we're going to get your messages. Let's see. What's the message for Sagittarius, please? Show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. So don't hide who you are, Saggy. You're awesome, so show the real you. Meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. Yeah, take some time out. Clear your mind. With, you know, meditating can be, it's a, like reading a book. You forget about everything else and you're focused on this one thing and you, with your imagination. That's what meditation's about. It's not about going blank in your mind. It's about being focused and removing all the clutter of all the chatter in your head. Look, luck is on your side. New moon in Saggy, that's you. So you got some luck on your side here. And you are good enough, full meaning Virgo. Don't you ever forget that. You are more than good enough, Sergi. You got luck on your side here. So get yourself focused and balanced and show the world the real you. Look. Conclusions are within reach, full moon eclipse. Got some conclusions that are within reach here regarding this situation. What was that other card? Step out of your comfort zone and show them the real you. If they don't like it, well, they're not meant for you. But someone will love the real you. And if you don't show it, well, how can they find you? Oh, see, again, you are good enough. Just the way you are might be the best you <laughs> like of course but you know you powerful expect powerful oh, excuse me expect powerful change when you believe that you are just perfect the way you are and you don't hide who you are anymore there'll be a massive change all right hold your vision fixed moon don't give up 
All right, give me three cards on the love energy coming towards Sagittarius, please. What else can you tell us? takes a little while but I don't like to pick the cards so oh okay we take the bottom one all right so they have take time to breathe out disseminating moon so you know when you breathe in it's dense and when you breathe out you relax so you know they've got to take time to breathe out Stop holding their breath. <coughs> Ooh, that was a bit harsh on my lungs. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's find out about that. What they're holding their breath about. You are good enough, full moon in Virgo. So they're, um, do they realise that they are good enough too? And believe in the impossible, a blue moon. Which is impossible is I'm possible. So they're trying to believe in the impossible here. Could be that, you know, if it is that negative side of this reading. Believe in your hanging, toxic energy, betrayal. Maybe they are believing in the impossible that you'll put up with that crap. Um, hmm. Bottom of the deck, don't let your past hold you back. See, now they've done their releasing of that past energy here. Time to give rather than take. So maybe, yeah, they were a taker in the past. Now they want to give. A win-win outcome is forecast. Um, mm, they're hoping it's going to be a win-win here. And prosperity lies ahead. New, new moon in Taurus. I didn't say them, did I? Uh, full moon in Libra, new moon in Virgo and south node. So they're looking for this prosperity ahead with this win-win outcome. You win, they win, and this you prosper together here. They know they need to give rather than take and not let the past hold them back. So, you know, they could see you as the one, seeing things from your perspective. Yeah, I'm just not sure how to read this reading. We'll find out here. This will give us a better idea. All right, message for Saggy is two of cups. Wow, two people with cups that are full sharing it with each other. Eight of Swords, oh, you're stuck in your head about this love, aren't you? Nine of Wands, you're really tired of it though, but you haven't given up yet. And the Fool, I think you just want to be free. I think you just want to be free, Had to have a whole brand new beginning here because you're tired of being stuck in your head here about love. It's possibly this love. Not knowing what's going on, feeling trapped here. You're so tired of having to defend yourself. You just want a new beginning. Yeah, because, yeah, you want to take a leap of faith and get yourself balanced again and find someone who is balanced, who is a, hmm, a soulmate. You're sick of juggling too, or people who juggle. Or just trying to juggle this energy that's driving you crazy. Yeah, two of swords. The indecision here. You've got to make a decision, but there's indecision here and you're tired of it. Mm. Yeah, you want justice. You want a balanced relationship. You want 
Good karma. All right. Tell me about take time to breathe out for this love energy coming towards Sagittarius, please. Temperance and the Eight of Cups. <sighs> See, they're waiting, pa waiting, trying to be patient here, holding their breath, but. They're probably just going to walk away or waiting for you to walk away. Patiently waiting for you to walk away. <sighs> Two of Wands. There's an indecision. Well, this is the thing. They're holding their breath, wondering do I wait or do I walk away? I don't think they know what to do here. Do they patiently wait for this to blend back together or do they just walk? I think they're a bit uh, stressed about it. Three of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Fire Energy, Knight of Swords, Air Energy and the Star. Sorry, so I can read this again two ways. They want to work on this, come in with that passionate energy, come in and speak their truth here to, to heal this. Could also be that, well, do they have third parties, other people that they're working on things with? They want to just go off and have their passion here. They're going to cut people out left, right and centre because that's what... Makes them happy. <coughs> it's their wish. You know, they've got judgment. Uh, they've been under a judgment. Ooh, the universe came down on them. That's why they had to heal and cut things out. Like all that player energy and third parties. Ooh. Hmm, this is interesting, Sajdi. I'm not sure. We need to... Maybe we'll get some more answers here. A fool. They want to take a leap of faith, but they don't want to look like a fool. That's what I'm hearing. Alright, tell me about you are good enough for this love energy coming towards Sagittarius, please. And remember, this is just the energy they're projecting towards you. I can't control whether they take action on it or not this is the energy they're sending you okay yep. page of ones fire energy flirting passionate communication so they feel that they're good enough to flirt with you Good enough to send you a passionate message. There's that King of Pentacles again. Earth energy. Grounded, stable, committed, loyal, strong. Got wine and cake. In that beautiful Ten of Pentacles house. See, that they're obviously material-wise, they're doing really well. I want to flirt with you, but... Hmm, they think they're good enough for, for you to settle down with. Hmm... 
Those control issues, though. See, they've got, they're offering all that stability that they've got. Why is that devil here? They're just tempted to control this and have you move right in and they think they're good enough because of their stability but they're they're only flirting here and they're not very mature in any like I haven't seen any other kings. We saw some knights before and there's a page. Hmm. Bottom of the deck is the seven of pentacles. Well there's another king, King of Wands, Fire Energy, the Death Card and the Moon. So maybe they do want to invest in you and see how this grows. They've now taken control of their passion and their actions. They know what they're doing. This guy knows what he's doing when it comes to the actions he takes. Maybe they've put an end to want to put an end to all the secrets between you, the the insecurities, the unknown, holding back, wanting this to move forward. Well, they want to share this money with you, so this stability with you. No, something's just not right. Here we go for time. I'm not too bad. Yeah, they're single, stable, grounded, independent. So, hmm. Tell me about believing the impossible for this love energy coming towards Sagittarius, please. So they've got the Hermit, the Ace of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the Page of Swords, Air Energy. So they want to believe in the impossible, that this self-work that they've done, time they've spent alone, They've thought a lot about this and they want to offer you a, a stable beginning here with the Ace of Pentacles, thinking that will automatically bring you together while they see you as a soulmate. Wanting this, yeah. <sighs> yeah, they've thought a lot about this. Spent some time alone thinking about you. Wanting to offer this Ace of Pentacles because they do see you as a soulmate, but they need more information or they've been spying on you. They've been watching you, trying to work you out, I think. Even in the impossible that this Ace of Pentacles, this stability that they offer is going to be enough for you. That's all the information you need is what I'm hearing is that they're offering stability. But where's the rest of it? There's a little bit of flirting here. But where's love? There's no love. Well, eight of cups walking away from it. But where's the love? Yeah, I think they are believing in the impossible here. Yeah, and look, knight of swords. The knight. They think air, air energy again. And they can just fly in. Demanding that... I'm offering you stability and there's that control issues there that that you'll just go, yeah. Okay, you're offering stability, you're my soulmate. I don't need any more information than that. <laughs> Three of Pentacles, Judgment, Three of Cups and the Devil. Two threes here. Yeah, they think that they can just, you'll just work with them on this. Because, you know, they deserve this second chance to work things out with you. And they want to celebrate that getting back together again. But there's something not right here with the devil energy, which is that devil energy there. The messaging... Closing out the cycle, the hangman again. 
because of the truth. They leave you hanging, close out the cycle because of something that you say doesn't agree with them. They just wanted this reunion, a second chance to work things out. But you know what? <clears throat> we got time oh, we might have I'm just gonna grab this stack out and my little good old faithful hey, don't you fall down all right we're just gonna find out because I want to know because it's not making sense I'm not sure which way it goes yeah there's a two of swords under the deck I don't know all right tell me about this hangman Well, then, ah, it's want to move forward, seeing things from a different perspective, wanting to move forward. I'm going to move on from just hanging around. Okay, tell me about this devil energy with the control issues. Justice. Oh, I need more. Tell me more. Queen of Cups, wow. So, they're both positive cards. It's at the bottom. Three of Cups. So, I guess they are trying to control those issues here. Trying to be fair with this love. Trying to, let, yeah, letting this unfold naturally, even though they are tempted. They know they've got to do this correctly if they want this awesome love with you. So they are offering that stability here. Okay, tell me about the Five of Swords. All right, we've got the Sun, the Nine of Swords, and the Three of Wands. So to me, that's like, yeah. They want this happiness with you and they stress. They can't sleep at night just waiting to see what will happen. So they're hoping they're not betraying themselves. All right. Okay. Yeah, they're trying to manifest you in here. Yeah, they don't know whether you're going to walk away or not. Yeah, they're holding back their love. Okay, well, we have to just clarify that because, yeah, I was right the first time. <laughs> oh, that threw me off there. Yeah, they do, but they, uh, yeah, they have, they're struggling try not, not to control this. Trying to trust that you'll invest in them, but worried that they're going to get hurt here. Mm, they think that just offering stability will be enough, though. That's why they're worried that you're going to walk away. Will it be good enough, just a bit of flirting, if they show you they want this stability and commitment? All right, what would you like to say, Sagittarius? I wish things were different. Mm. I'm keeping you a secret. Mm. I'm afraid you will reject me and you are beautiful. So you think this person's beautiful. You're worried they're going to reject you. Well, they're worried you're going to reject them. <laughs> You're keeping it a secret. You're not telling anybody and you wish things were different between you two. So, yeah, maybe it's you wish the past wasn't what it was. That's why you can't tell anyone about them. you got a fear of rejection because you're both worried that you're not good enough. You think this person is beautiful. Wow, well, Saji. Well, I mean... They do want to offer you stability, but like I said, there's no love on the board here. No love on the table, except for the Eight of Cups walking away, which they don't know whether you're going to do that or not. Mm, you're scared you're going to get hurt. Which is fair enough. Alright, love energy coming towards Sagittarius. What would you like to say to Sagittarius? Wow, that's a lot. At least three cards. We got, wow, we got five cards. Okay. We got, oh, lying was easier than telling the truth. So, yeah. Yeah, they told you some porkies, porky pies, lies in the past. 
Mm, they're not telling you the truth about something here. I'm single and ready for love. Well, I'm pretty sure they are single. Even though these are commitment cards, I think that's what they want with you. I'm afraid to reach out to you. Yeah, they're worried. Yes. It's just mirroring energy here. You both feel it. People are like that. They both feel it, but neither one wants to be the first to reach out. Um, you turn me on. Wow, Saggy, because you're hot. <laughs> of course you are. And I can't give you what you want. Wow. So, yeah, this is the problem, though. They can't give you what you want. They can give you the stability here, but the, where's the love? It's a bit of passion, and they're turned on by you, but where, where's the, there's, you know, I mean, the, the lover's card is here, but there's no cups here. Hmm. What's at the bottom for them? I can't wait to see you again. I'm waiting for an apology. Um, I, I think they're waiting to apologise because they know that they were lying. They're waiting to apologise. They want to see you and apologise. I will contact you soon so they will reach out to you even though they're afraid because you feel like home. You're stable and grounded and, and they want you to, they want to live with you. They want that stability with you. But last card is I'm not ready to be with you yet. Offering all this stability here, but well, what's the problem, mate? Well, they're not ready yet because maybe they're still going through that forgiving and learning. Maybe they need to come and apologise to you. Because they couldn't give you what you want. Perhaps they were lying about being single. Perhaps they are married here. So they can't give you a commitment because hmm, you'll know how it works. I'm just trying to work out what's going on. But you, this will all make sense to you. Yes, I'm told. Yes, this will all make sense to you. So I'm not going to go fishing, <laughs> trying to work out why they're saying what they're saying. You know what they're why they're saying what they're saying. All right. Well, that's your reading, Sagittarius. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And um, we'll do another reading in a few days and see what's going on then. But like I said, no, no, no. There's no love here. Where's the love? There's no love. Mm. All right. Well, all the best. Take care. Good luck. And I'll catch you later.